I'm standing in front of the northern side of the greenhouse complex that was designed in 1901 by Frank Lyons Day. Um, and this was the working engine of the Stonely Horticultural Operation. So in here were sheds for equipment, um, storage areas. All throughout this was the infrastructure to run a greenhouse. So it was a coal-fired heater down in the basement. All of this infrastructure is still there. This was powering a network of pipes that went throughout this building and through the greenhouses that were behind it. And this was how all of the vegetables, flowers, um, mushrooms as well were grown. And who was doing the work in this area? Early on in the Bodine's um, Stonely history, we have records of a superintendent, we have records of garden assistants who worked here. Um, around the turn of World War I, the entire purpose of this part of the Stonely property shifted, right? It shifted from winning awards at the flower shows to feeding a community. This is because this area was one of Lower Marion's community war gardens. And who were tending these gardens? They were women that had been recruited for an innovative horticultural and gardening program um, that was hosted by the Bonine family. And so these women who were aspiring for careers in gardening and horticulture were coming here for training with the superintendent and with the skilled staff who were here. And they were working in this greenhouse and they were working in a series of community war gardens, approximately three acres that extended right past the greenhouse. Um, and so if you think about the landscape and how it was designed and how it functioned, all of these things were kind of tucked away from the pleasure gardens at the front of Stonely. But this is where the work was being done. In the greenhouse complex, right nearby, we'll see a dormitory where the women lived, the women who were working in these gardens. And then behind us, we'll take a look at a very unique Cotswold style cottage that was designed by Frank Miles Day. All of these things integrating together um, to feed the community. Another thing I'll point out is that we know that these two buildings were constructed at the same time because there's a tunnel connecting them between the basement here that has this massive furnace that was heating water for the greenhouses. The tunnel connected the greenhouse to the cottage where the superintendent lives and through that went hot water and electricity and telephone lines. And we know all this because this landscape was designed by the Olmsted brothers, the renowned landscape architects of the 20th century. And they provided us with hundreds of maps and surveys about the work that they did. And so we can trace the origin of these buildings and the trees around and all of the different design elements of this landscape from maps that go back to 1908. And so we can see the existence of the tunnels on those maps. We can see the existence of the drainage system. We can see existence of all the different trees that were mapped by species and by diameter. So we know how large the trees that we're looking at were 100 years ago. Um, and we can look today and see how much they have grown.